three spa marketing techniques that I want you to try for this holiday season. Um, I'm also going to be sharing some marketing techniques that I'm personally going to be trying. And if this is your first time coming in, my name is Ayana. I'm a licensed massage therapist, esthetician, spa owner. I'm a coach for massage therapists who want to level up their spa business, start and scale their businesses. So we are talking about marketing today. Um, one second, let me make sure I can see the chat because again, we're live in the Facebook group. If you're not in the Facebook group, links to all that. Oops, come back Instagram, where you at? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I see New Jersey. As always, let me know where you're watching from. Even if you're watching the, the replay, let me know where you're watching from. Welcome in, Jesse. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we are about to get started. Again, we're talking about uh, three uh, marketing techniques. If I'm a little bit out of it, it's because I know I did drop y'all. <laughs> yes. Oh, let me pin my comment too. Let me not forget to pin my comment. Um, we are, y'all see I got the, the digital lashes on today. We are live on YouTube. Link in bio. Okay, we're about to get started, I promise. Let me pin this. And again, as always, let me know where you're watching from. Oh, hello, Daniela from Brazil. Welcome in. Hi from Texas. Texas, New Jersey, Brazil. Y'all are going to hear the little one in the background. Yes, this will absolutely be recorded. Okay, so we're talking about three techniques, and I'm going to be talking about... Uh, the technique that I'm going to be implementing very, very soon. So my goal with this live is to share some things that maybe you have not heard before, some techniques that you have not uh, heard. <laughs> and so let me know by the end of this live if I accomplished that goal, if I shared some tips that you have not heard before, some strategies that you have not um, heard of yet. That is my goal. Okay, and of course, when you come in, let me know where you're watching from. Okay, so let's talk about the first strategy. Are we ready? <laughs> let's talk about it, let's talk about it. And I'm keeping my eye on the chat too. Let me share. Ooh, Susanna said, I've had some slow months that get me so depressed and then the weeks where I'm crazy busy and blessed it's inconsistent when it doesn't involve my regular some people I get three times a year because it's not in their budget sounds like we got to get people in your budget or who have you in their budget maybe a different type of clientele but that's me putting my coach hat on <laughs> per usual um let's see Okay, so let's talk about the first strategy. So something I wanna mention with these strategies that I'm gonna talk about, most of them are aimed towards your existing clientele. So this could be clientele that haven't come back in a while because what I find is that a lot of people focus on getting new clients, getting new clients, getting new clients, and they completely ignore the fact that they already have a client base. Just because that client base isn't seeing you on a regular basis yet because maybe you're not implementing the right strategies, um, it doesn't mean that we can't still target those people. So a lot of these uh, tips that I have for you is mostly for your existing clientele because again, what I find is that we ignore our existing clientele. We always wanna talk about new clients, but what about the people that you've seen over the past couple of years or so? Or even that person that you saw once, but that is still someone that I would consider as a part of your clientele. Another thing that I'll mention before we get into these strategies is that a lot of these strategies is going to require you to start building your email list, y'all. Start building your email list for your spa. Every single person that you've ever seen, <laughs> you need to have their email, their name and email, and have them on your email list. And I, in most of my uh, workshops that I teach, and even like the free workshops, I mentioned that I use uh, MailChimp. 
and I've been using it free for a very, very long time. But this could be as simple as um, when you give them the intake form, of course you're going to get their email. Go ahead, even if it's not digital, um, go ahead and grab that email and add them to your list on MailChimp or on ConvertKit or on ActiveCampaign, whichever one of your choice. But that is so, so important. So when you hear me talk about email, that's really what I'm talking about. So I just want to put that out there before we get into it. Yes, and also thank you for sharing that. I'm reading the comments and it looks like we need to talk about how to attract high quality clients. That's what it sounds like. That's what we need to talk about. So we'll likely discuss that in another live. So the first strategy that I want to talk about is having your secret menu. This is what I'm calling it. It's a secret menu. So this is something I'm implementing in November. We're already gearing up, me and my virtual assistant, to you know put this out here in November. So what this consists of is think about some services that you don't normally offer. So you can put that in the chat if you'd like, because I'm curious. What are some services that you don't normally offer? Um, think about some services that you don't normally offer and what you're going to do is take those services and create a secret menu, um, a menu that only your existing clientele can get to or have access to. Um, so for example, in my business, uh, my business mostly consists of lymphatic drainage, um, you know, post-op massage, body contouring, things like that. And, you know, I still have existing clientele from back when we used to do traditional massage and I have had clients ask about, you know, Swedish, uh, deep tissue, like different traditional spa services. So that is a service that I do not typically offer that none of my um, team members really do. But for the holiday season alone, and we'll get into like the different uh, parts of this strategy, but for the holiday season alone, we are going to offer a secret menu. So y'all are kind of the, the first to hear about it. So this is a menu of services that no one else can access besides my existing clientele. So uh, oh, I'm seeing sauna wrap. That's a good service, sauna wraps. So what this does is number one, we're implementing FOMO. So fear of missing out. And what that does is create urgency and it creates this need to make a quick decision because the main way that we're implementing the strategy is going to be through email marketing. So we're going to send a massive broadcast to our entire list of clients that we've seen over the past three and four years and letting them know that they have access to this secret menu and it's only for a short period of time. It's from this date to this date and that's it. And there's only gonna be limited slots to do it. Um, so that's gonna create a fear of missing out because again, it's like a defined you know, start and end date for this promotion. Um, it's gonna make them wanna make a quick decision. So again, because we're using email, so that means they're gonna be on their computer. Um, how many things are competing for your attention when you're on your computer or on your phone? So many different things. And so when they open this email, like other things are gonna be trying to get their attention. So this will encourage them to make a quick decision because again, it's not gonna last forever. Um, and then it's something out of the ordinary and it's exclusive. Exclusivity is a trigger for also taking action. So that's a trigger for making it urgent. Exactly, making it urgent. So that is a huge uh, trigger for selling your services. Because something I want you to think about when you're in this business, and I think this is where a lot of um, massage therapists, estheticians kind of get it wrong, is that they're afraid to sell their services. And really what you're doing, you're selling your talent, you're selling your skills, skills that you paid <laughs> to have, by the way, like you went to school for. Um, but I think a lot of us are afraid of that word selling, you know, but you're selling your skills, you're selling your service, you're selling your solution. You're not just selling massage, you're selling an experience. And that's okay. And I think a lot of us have to be okay with that, especially if you're in business on your own and you don't have, let's say, a front desk to sell your services for you. So be like when it comes to really all the methods that I'm going to mention, like it really does take some mindset stuff to be comfortable with selling your services and promoting yourself. That is so, so important. 
Um, so again, this is going to go out via an email. Um, this is going to be a trigger for taking action because we have that exclusivity, we have that FOMO, and it's something out of the ordinary. Um, and another thing, another reason why I believe this is going to be so beneficial for my business in particular is because a lot of my clients, especially like older clients who maybe have forgotten about us, you know, maybe I saw a year ago or two years ago or even six months ago, a lot of them are used to, you know, the mobile services. A lot of them have not been to our location. So this is a great way to bring them to our location and give them a new experience, a new experience to associate us with. So that is why I feel like that strategy is going to be so beneficial. So I'm looking in the chat and I'm seeing, you know, sauna wrap could be one. Um, I'm seeing some support in the chat. I love it. <laughs> I see y'all are taking notes. But I believe that is a great way to implement a new strategy. If you are feeling like you've been stagnant and you need just a new marketing strategy, try that for your existing clientele. And again, as I mentioned it in the beginning of this video, it will require you to have an email list or even a text list. If you have a text list, that's even better. Um, text messages, if I remember the statistic correctly, um, they're open 90% of the time. Emails are opened about... Mm, 56% of the time, it depends on how consistent you are with your emails. Um, so that is something to think about. Yes, let me think. Is there anything else I wanted to mention about the secret menu? So essentially the game plan, just to summarize it again, for those of you who might be just now tuning in, is you are going to create a secret menu of services that you don't typically offer. It's even better if you can create services that are specific to the season. So this could be fall facials. This could be fall body scrubs. It could be just something out of the ordinary that you notice that your clients have been asking about um, or something that your clients um, have gotten before in the past, but from a different provider. Um, and you're going to offer it only to your clientele. So you could create, um, you know, if you have a website, you can create a private uh, link to your website that no one else has that has the secret menu. You could tell them to, I mean, if you don't have a website, if you're not digital yet, because a lot of you are still getting started, you could just have someone call you or have them call you and you know say maybe a particular word that was in the email or in the text message so that you know that they know that they're about to get this deal so there's so many different ways you can do this but that is the gist of it okay i'm seeing door hanger i see okay y'all got your your wheels turning about different um different marketing ideas i love that i love that Yes, flyers. Yes, let's talk about it. We should talk about um, all these different marketing methods. So now I'm moving on to the second marketing method that you can use for your spa business. And this method I actually got from someone who's in a completely different industry. She's actually in real estate. She's watching. Hi. <laughs> but I got this from you. So um, so, okay, so I talked about how I learned about this method. So this is going to help you get referral. So if you want to use referral marketing for your business, this is a great way to get some referrals for your business. Okay. So how it works is you're going to connect with another business professional. Um, this could be, and I'll just give you some ideas of people that I've run into and have connected with. Um, this could be a private chef. Um, this could be maybe an esthetician or a nail salon. This could be someone who offers a service that you do not offer, but is kind of adjacent to the field that you're in, whether that's in wellness, whether that's in spa experiences or private experiences or even mobile experiences. Um, so someone who is adjacent to you, um, you want to make this like someone who offers something just very juicy. Um, for example, I do know a business, they create very curated uh, date experiences. So they will put on like a whole projector, like have a pri private chef come out to you. Um, it's mobile, like they just, they do the whole nine yards. So of course they'll probably wanna connect with a massage therapist or esthetician or someone in the spa world. So again, you're going to connect with that person Ideally, this person offers experiences that two people can enjoy. I'll explain why in a moment. 
And what you're going to do, you're going to send an email. Again, we're talking about email marketing. <laughs> Once again, um, send out an email or a text if you do text marketing saying that if you know this client gives you a referral, they are entered to win a raffle for this free experience. So um, this is where that connection with that business owner is going to come in because you see I mentioned free. Now, it doesn't have to be free. It depends on what you work out with that business owner, like what the incentive is for them as well. If it's free, if it's half off, if it's, you know, just a portion of it, like whatever the case may be. Um, but you're going to say uh, the more referrals that they send you, the more of a chance they have of winning this experience on the behalf of your business. And what that does is that's gonna give your clients incentives to essentially give you referrals and also be entered in for a raffle. So let's say, you know, they're not interested in playing that game and, you know, whatever. They can also forward that <laughs> to other people that they know, other people, emails that they have, um, either way, but it's a win-win. Not only are you, you know, collaborating with this other business and giving them, you know, potential business, um, but you're offering an experience to your existing clientele. So this kind of goes hand in hand with client appreciation, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, but you're also having a chance to get referrals. Now, something that's important about this method is that you're going to want to have a defined and easy way for, for your client to give you that referral. Um, so that's going to be up to you and your creativity of how you want to do that, whether that's just responding to the email <laughs> with the name and number of the referral or whatever the case may be, or even creating a graphic that they can simply just send or text to another person they want to refer to you. So you can have fun with that on Canva. Y'all, write uh, a one or an emoji in the chat if you're still with me. <laughs> if, if that uh, method sounds good to you, because when I heard about this method, I was like, wow, this would be great for spa professionals. So go ahead and type an emoji or type a one in the chat if you know, that is a method that you understand and a method that you could possibly implement. Okay, I'm seeing multiple ones. Cool, cool, cool. Over here on uh, YouTube. <laughs> but yes, this is a great way to get referrals. Um, this is something I want to uh, put in the uh, or try in January. As you can see, I'm spacing out these different methods because you don't want to oversaturate your clients with different types of methods. That that gets confusing because with each method that you use, there's going to be you know certain rules and restrictions and you know policies and all that stuff. So, okay, I'm seeing some ones. <laughs> Aw, thank you for saying that. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that is the strategy. So I'm just going to summarize it again for those of you who might be joining in late. So essentially what you're going to do, you're going to work with another business. And, you know, it's e again, it's even better if that person provides like a two-person experience because any, you know, juicy experience, you know, you want to enjoy with someone else even the person that you might have referred. <laughs> so you as the spa business, you're gonna connect with this business. Let's say it's a private chef and they offer private dinner for two. And you send out an email to your client saying, hey, refer someone to me for massage or for facials or whatever it is that you do. And you will be entered in a raffle to win a free dinner for two from this private chef who's you know really esteemed and yeah, and the way that they can give you that, give those referrals is you're gonna create a graphic in something like Canva. And it's gonna be like a simple graphic that says, you know, um, essentially that they can get a massage from you. This is where they need to call, this is where they book this session. Something easy so that, you know, you have a good way of tracking who is giving these referrals. So again, for this method, you'll really want to have a defined and easy way for clients to send you referrals. Make it as simple as possible because people do not want to be, you know, struggling online or on their phone trying to figure out how to get give you a referral so that they can get their raffle um, or get in that the chance to win this experience. And try to make this like a premium experience, like something that is a no-brainer. Um, because that's a win-win. If they can easily send you a referral, they already like your business, um, or they can send it to someone who likes your business, and then they have a chance to win that experience. That's that's a win-win, okay? <laughs> so definitely try that for this holiday season. 
because what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of, especially men, <laughs> struggling to figure out what to do for their girlfriends, for their wives, for their family, for their mothers, for, hol- for the holiday season. And they're going to get your email or your text message and be like, oh, there it is. That's that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, so that is uh, the second method that I would recommend. I'm just going to share this because this could be, you know, helpful for you all. I'm looking at the chat. I'm seeing Shapey3987 said the dietitian could prepare the meal. I collaborated with a dietitian who made healthy meals after doing an in-home massage experience. I think that's perfect because that is wellness, like massage, nutritionist, or dietitian, I mean. That goes hand in hand. So I think that's a great idea. All right, so are we ready to talk about the third method? The third method that I believe y'all really would want to try. This is something I want to try in February. Okay, so I'm already planning ahead. (laughs) Already planning ahead for uh, February. All right, so this third method, I'm just going to call this, I wish I had like cooler names for these uh, strategies. (laughs) But this third method is called Um, a client appreciation draw. So again, we are focusing on our existing clientele. And one of the ways that we do this is by offering client appreciation. This is basically a thank you for coming to us. So this is this method that I'm about to explain is going to help those of you who shy away from inviting people back into your practice or you know when you're at the end of the session and they've already paid what they need to pay and you know I'm telling you as your coach that you need to lead the invitation as we say lead the invitation for them to come back to your your practice but you want to shy away from it cuz you don't know you just you want to leave it up to them you know they'll they'll call if they want to book another appointment right so this is going to help uh, those of you who do that um, so essentially what you're going to do there's so many different ways you could do this so this will be a part of your creativity but essentially you're going to have a bowl you're going to put in this bowl you know different incentives for your clients to come back it's all going to be about them coming back to your practice so in this bowl you're going to put different incentives you can think of them as coupons now something that i always say when it comes to any incentive or any coupon or anything like that make sure it's low cost so i'm not telling you to like give things away for free no we're not doing that um or you could do that but i don't know why you would um what you can do is just have low cost um, add-ons or low cost incentives, things that don't really cost you anything. You might already have uh, a set of aromatherapy, uh, like aromatherapy kit, like that doesn't cost you anything to add that on into your session. So it it depends on your philosophy too, because I know a lot of you don't consider this to be that type of thing to be an add-on, but really think about it. So anyways, when it comes to this, in this bowl, you're going to have a client appreciation uh cards it could be come back and get a free add-on again that add-on could be hot towels it could be um, aromatherapy it could be a scalp treatment something that again doesn't cost you a whole lot it could be sound healing it, it really is depending on the type of massage that you do and the type of practice that you have um, some of y'all if you'd like go ahead and put um, your ideas uh, in here of different, you know, low cost add ons, because I'd love to share that for those of you who might be struggling with thinking of something. Um, but again, in this bowl, you're going to put these add ons. And before your client leaves, so after they've already paid for their session, before they leave your practice, and you can do this even if you're mobile, have them draw from this bucket of things. Um, And whatever they choose, whatever it is, it's going to encourage them to come back. And so at that point, it's like, okay, well, you got this. It's time to book your next session. Do you all see where I'm going with this? (laughs) Um, Because they already have the incentive right there in their hand. Why wouldn't they book their next session? So this would be a great segue for those of you who are a little bit nervous to lead the invitation and invite them back to your practice. This is a great way to get repeat clientele. Um, This is a great way to uh, bring people back to your practice and a great way to leave a great impression even with new clients when you have new clients. Welcome in, Barbara. Hi. See some spot with success folks in here. I always love to shout them out. Welcome. But yeah, so that's how you would do it. And so 
Um, another great part of this method is that this is a this is a great content idea. Even if you don't have anyone doing this yet in your practice, you can record um, kind of a, a reel or a TikTok of this playing out to show your clients how this would work. And that's a content idea, just showing all the different add-ons that your client could expect when they come to you after their session. It's almost like... Um, it's almost like getting a, a free gift in a way. Even if you have like extra uh, inventory of things that you make, you might hand make your own like oils or jewelry or things like that. They could get a free gift. Like that's amazing. Um, but go ahead and record that and make that content as well. I'm seeing great segue. Yes. Okay. I'm seeing foot baths. That's a very easy one. A foot bath. That's a great one. I don't see that. I don't see that a lot in different spa practices is foot baths. Um, it just makes me think of even when I was in, where was I? That was Costa Rica. They did a foot bath and I wasn't even expecting that. I thought I was just getting a massage, but they added that in. It was a nice surprise. <laughs> and that was great. And it had herbs and essential oils in it. So yeah. So think about different premium add-ons that you can add that you can, again, put in this bowl, have people draw from, and that is their incentive to come back to your practice. If you are mobile and you don't wanna carry around something like that, um, what you could do is there are apps that you can get. Don't ask me which one, you'll have to do your research <laughs> which one you wanna choose from because there's so many out there, but there's different apps that will create raffles for you. Um, where you put in a list of different you know, options and then you click a button and it randomizes it. So you can do this on your phone. And I feel like that's even more fun because you can screenshot it and send it to your client um, even with a link of where they can book their next appointment even if they don't book with you right then and there. I think this is even better if whatever they're drawing from, you make it cute, you make it attractive, you make it something that they have to bring back and maybe redeem something they could even give to someone else. You could even do this with referrals. Um, well, that's a whole different thing. When you create cards that make it easy for your clients to refer you to someone else. But let me know in the chat if this is something that you could see yourself trying because it doesn't cost you anything. Like marketing does not have to cost you an arm and a leg. It just takes some creativity and some tact. I'm seeing paraffin wax as a good add-on. Oh, I would love to get some paraffin wax. I don't see that very often either. It could be hot stones. That's something you might already have. It could be a preview of a new service that you have, and that's a great way to get some feedback for a new service you wanna try. It could be any of those things. But this is definitely something that I would like to do in February. And the great thing about all three of these methods is that you can plan them out ahead of time. You can say, okay, in January, I'm gonna try this one. In February, I'm gonna try this one. In March, I'm gonna try this one. And then have a way of figuring out which one worked best for you, because you could always do that again. Might be a little delay in the chat. All right, so y'all let me know if you're gonna try any of these marketing methods. If you got anything out of this live, y'all thought I was about to miss a Tuesday live. I'm just kidding, I don't know if, <laughs> if anyone thought that, but. I did want to show up and just share this with you because it's about to be holiday season. Hi, welcome in. Okay. Seeing some thank yous. Now, something I do want to bring to your awareness. Well, first, let me just summarize the three that we talked about. So again, these strategies were all about bringing people back to your practice, um, particularly your existing clientele, because they are so, so important too. 
And a lot of these methods are reliant on having an email list. You have to have an email list for your spa business. I'm sorry, but you must. <laughs> an email list and or a, um, a text, a test, a, I need some water. <laughs> a text marketing list. And this is an easy way to send out your promotions. And another thing with these methods is that it's going to require you to reframe how you see selling your services. That's really important. It's going to make you want to reframe it because a lot of us can be nervous about that at first. But it's something that you just need to do to be in business. And that's just the hard truth. So the first method that we talked about is having a secret menu for your clients. So a menu that is exclusive to your existing clientele. And the only way they knew about it is through your email. It also, another thing I'll mention is that it also lets them know why it's so important to be on your email list. Because this is where they find out about things, about things that no one else knows about yet. So it creates that exclusivity and it creates that urgency. The second one is your referral raffle. So this will help you get referrals for your business. This will also help you build a relationship with another business owner. If it works well, they can do the same thing for their business. They can recommend you to their audience, to their email list. They could have a larger email list. Imagine if they sent an email to their list of, let's say, 3,000 people saying, hey, you want to have an experience at, you know, this person's spa? Like, <laughs> that's, that's a great opportunity. And you get more referrals. So we talked about that. And then we talked about the client appreciation draw. So this is a great way to encourage repeat clientele. Encourage your rebooking rate to be high. We talk about rebooking rate a lot. Um, and it's a great way to get comfortable with asking people to come back to your practice. Welcome in. Love seeing Spaba Success students on here. I will just always shout them out <laughs> every time. I'm seeing, I introduced my M Sculpt treatments this way, almost like a trial giveaway. Yes, I love that. It is like a trial giveaway. Okay, and so we talked about the three different ways. Something I do want to bring to your attention, if you're watching on Instagram or YouTube or even watching the replay, um, in the link in my bio, I do have, and this is recent, but I do have my marketing workshop it's a Start Your Massage Biz from Scratch workshop. The replay is going to be in my bio. It's going to come with the workbook. And this is going to be strategies that you can follow along with to get going with your marketing for your spa business. And I made it particularly for those of you who might be still in school, those of you who have zero experience, and those of you who are new grads. So it doesn't have to just be for business owners who are already operating part-time, but especially for those of you with little or no experience. I've gotten a lot of great feedback on this workshop, so definitely check that out. And again, we're going to be live next Tuesday. What we're going to talk about, I'm not quite sure yet, but it sounds like we need to talk about how to attract high-quality clients because a lot of what you all are telling me is that you're getting clients who can't afford you. So it sounds like we need to change the messaging around. And again, that workshop is going to help a lot with that, with helping you nail down your, your messaging and what your business is all about. And by the end of it, you'll have a game plan. But again, thank you for joining me for this live. I know I was not about to miss a Tuesday night live. Not sure if we'll go back to like the 1230 time, but I think this time works pretty, pretty good. But again, if you end up watching the replay, go ahead and comment like your takeaways or, you know, a cute emoji. I would love to see who's watching the replay. As always, my DMs are open if you have any ideas for new videos or anything like that or just want to say hi. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next live. 
See y'all later.